Three, two, one. Engine full power. Welcome to your space journey, where we venture into the future of space exploration. Your journey begins now. Welcome to your space journey, your custom deep dive into the cosmos. Today we're blasting off to Mars with Rocket Lab, focusing on something absolutely critical, the Mars Telecommunications Orbiter, or MTO. This isn't just new tech, it's the foundation for humans on the red planet. We'll explore why dedicated comms are non-negotiable and how a commercial twist could revolutionize everything. Imagine planning the ultimate road trip to Mars. Beyond air and fuel, what's essential? Reliable communication. It's the bedrock for safe arrivals, operations, and returns, keeping astronauts in constant touch across millions of miles. That's where Rocket Lab's MTO shines. It's not an afterthought satellite. It's the first step for sustained human presence. Engineered for robust, real-time comms and mission control, it's the backbone letting explorers get there, work, and head home safely. What makes Rocket Lab's concept unique? In NASA's concept studies for Mars sample return, they were the only ones proposing a dedicated relay satellite at the core. It's built in from day one, prioritizing high bandwidth links for safety, autonomy, and complex operations. Communication isn't optional, it's fundamental. Let's break down the key features. First, it's a high bandwidth relay, linking Mars surface assets, like rovers or habitats, to Earth. This is like installing fiber optic internet on another planet. It's a permanent, years-long backbone for future missions. Second is vertical integration. Rocket Lab builds everything in-house, including spacecraft bus, software, and proven components with flight heritage. This cuts complexity, controls costs, and ensures schedule certainty. And they offer it under a firm fixed price. They deliver for a set cost and date, absorbing any overruns. So there are no taxpayer surprises. That's a game changer for NASA, shifting risk and boosting efficiency over traditional contracts. But MTO isn't one and done. It supports current missions like Perseverance, enables sample return, faster data, remote ops, and cruise safety. For NASA, this means massive cost savings and schedule wins. Let's zoom out. This commercial agility speeds up deep space. Take NASA's Escapade mission. Rocket Lab delivered two Mars-bound satellites in just three and a half years, on budget. It's NASA leveraging industry for quicker, cheaper wins, strengthening U.S. space leadership through innovation. Now how does MTO tie into bringing Mars samples back? It's step one in Rocket Lab's commercial MSR architecture, enabling faster, affordable returns under firm fixed price. Here's the high-level ballet. Launch One deploys MTO into Mars orbit for communications. Then multiple Earth launches send an Earth return orbiter and an entry and descent system, delivering a sample retrieval lander and Mars ascent vehicle, the MAV, to the surface. The MAV launches samples in a container to rendezvous with the orbiter, which captures, seals, and sterilizes them. Then it heads home, releasing the Earth entry system for a ballistic landing in Utah's desert. There are no parachutes, just precision impact. These maneuvers are insanely tricky, but Rocket Lab's got cred. Their solar panels, powered Perseverance cruise stage, and Ingenuity helicopter. They built Escapade in under three and a half years. They are proven in Mars ops, descent, landing, rendezvous, and re-entry. Rocket Lab produces not just slides, but real hardware. Communication weaves through it all, rethinking deep space exploration. As we build this Mars internet, what secrets will we unlock? New questions answered, new possibilities for living on Mars, all connected. What do you think? Is this the future? Drop your thoughts below. Thanks for joining us today. Please hit like, subscribe, and blast off with us next time on Your Space Journey. 
your space journey. 